engineered garments Highland Parka, the ideal M51 fishtail. This is the engineered garments Highland Parka. It's an homage to one of the all-time greats, the M51 fishtail. The best thing about it though is how accurately it evokes the original, especially in the fit. We're going to take a look at it later on. The details. Here's the EG Manifesto, made in New York, built showing use, process, and form. Indeed. The hood. Extra large and roomy, originally to accommodate a battle helmet, now just gives you the perfect shape. It's adjustable, I haven't really used that yet though. You can see that there's no collar, keeps it clean. The placket is curved a bit um, near the top two or three buttons on the button side whereas on the other side, the right side, it's just a standard straight placket so that when you have the jacket open, it falls naturally. There's that quarter right trim. I really love that there's no epaulets. I think it would just clutter up the shoulder area. The shoulders do have some stitching and this light canvas material underneath. It's sewn under to give it a little bit of structure. really like that the drawstring is uh, hidden away on the inside. To me, that's essential. This is them on the left and the right. Clean midsection. To add visual interest, they've kind of created like this puckering in the fabric with this uh, stitching across the midsection. I think it gives you like some nice texture. The pockets, as you can see, have a, I don't know if they're called storm flaps, but like this little fabric that hangs over the top so that um, when you fold it over, there's like, like, like that little extra flap to protect whatever you got in there. Pocket bags, corduroy. Here's a look at the interior. You got four large interior pockets. They're huge. The CD here gives you a sense of the scale. Two on the left, two on the right. Those three dark dots over there are the replacement buttons. There's a large medium and a small. The cuff, you can see there are three options. I'm going with the middle. There is a drawstring to adjust the hem at the bottom. I've actually been pretty aggressive with that. Uh, you can see there's a ton of material I've squeezed in there. I wanted to try to create a bell shape. You'll see it in the fit pick. Further customization, you can clip up the fishtails. So frankly, I don't know why you would do that. So what it looks like and from the side. I prefer to keep them down, I think. Also, I don't know if it's my imagination, but I love the way the sleeves drape. There's a ton of fabric there. It's really, really roomy, but you can see you get some, uh, you know, shape in the way that it curls tight against the arm and the body so it doesn't flare out. You can see it here, especially on the right hand side. At first I thought it was this thing at the elbow, but now I realize that's just a dart for some articulation. I think it has to do with the way the sleeve is sewn into the shoulder. You can see the seam there. There's a little bit of, I, I don't know t the term, I guess puckering or whatever. You can see uh, they kind of like, I guess folded it a little bit. The fabric itself is uh, Nyko, 50% uh, nylon, 50% cotton. The weave is a reverse sateen cordura. This is like state-of-the-art mill spec in the middle of the 20th century. It's got like very understated minimal sheen to it. It's also really soft with just a kind of like a fuzzy, hairy look to it. Deeper into the weave. Gets a little gnarly down here. You can see the individual hairs which give it that fuzzy feel. Engineer car. Here's something to judge the construction by. I'm not really an expert, but that stitching looks really nice. The interior of the jacket. You can see that there is a kind of a length of corduroy which has been buttoned in to create sort of like backpack straps if you were to choose to wear it like that. Here's a sneak peek. The fit. In my opinion, the main thing about uh, the M51 is it has to be roomy. This is the hood up. The silhouette, really you want like kind of a feel of a, like a cloak or a cape. This is the shots from the rear. 
just sew a mod target on the back there and you're set. Here you can see the asymmetric hem. This is what it looks like wearing it um, backpack style with uh, both straps. This is wearing it uh, with one strap. And this is probably, I think, my favorite crossbody. Anyways, there it is. Engineered garments, they've done it again. Thank you for your time.